Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and today I have another brand new arrival to show you. This is the 3,670 pound 2022 Salem FSX Platinum Edition Model 179 DBKX. This small, compact bunkhouse unit is great for first timers if you're coming up from a pop-up or if you're coming up from a tent or something like that and you want something that's simple, easy to use, that's towable by just about anything. If you have a 5,000 pound tow package SUV, this would be perfect to go behind that. And it's simple, but it has a couple of really nice upgrades that we'll talk about, such as the 190 watt extended dry camp package, the power tongue jack, the outside kitchen, double over double bunks, which is incredibly difficult to find sometimes in these little single axles, the really cool Murphy bed concept that they have going on here, and tons of other really neat features on you know a, a budget friendly starter class single axle camper. Let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside, then we'll circle back around, come back to the outside, and show you all the cool features. And oh, as always, leave us some feedback down below. Let, let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you would change given the opportunity. Uh, we greatly appreciate that, and our manufacturer partners greatly appreciate that. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So to give you a point of reference, we're actually standing over here by the head of the master bed in here and we're looking at this little two bench dinette now pretty much when you get a bunkhouse in a single axle camper or really in most single axle campers you are going to get a little two bench dinette like this now I love what's going on here we've got this huge campsite window and it lends in a ton of natural light now because of where the Sun is in relation to this I had to pull it down that way the camera would cooperate this will turn down into a small extra bed, so if the, one of the kiddos brings a friend or something, uh, they can sleep right here. And we'll come back to the bunks in a minute. I just kind of want to give you a nice sweeping shot back there. Um, same thing with the kitchen. As we go past, you'll notice that 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge, which a lot of people really like. But I think the signature calling card of this floor plan is this front end. And in most of this style of camper, you don't have the Murphy bed. And I think, in again, with this floor plan, the Murphy bed is the way to go. Now, people either love it or hate it. But the advantages are that you get extra seating space. So if you're stuck inside on a rainy day, you've got places for all four people or five people to sit, play a game hang out, possibly watch a little TV if you bring a TV in this one, um, and then you still have a great master bed setup. Um, so again, I really like it, and it's the pretty much the only way to get a sofa and a dinette in a trailer under 30 foot, and this one comes in way underneath that at like 22 feet 6 inches, so it's really small, really lightweight, super compact. And I think that's why it's so popular. This and the 178 BHSKX, which is the slide-out version of this, which I'll leave a link down in the video description below. So if you like the idea of what this has going on, but you want a little bit more room, that would be a great one to check out. Um, if we look up top, you do have a full roof air conditioner. A lot of their competition in this size weight and price point are going to be using a side mount window unit and this is a full 13,500 BTU roof air um, I'm about 6'2 or 6'3 depending on if I have boots or tennis shoes on and I have plenty of room to walk underneath these knobs which is super handy now if we come up here a little bit you'll notice that you have a powered vent fan and this is so nice you have the vent hood over the stove top but this is also going to exhaust some of that heat or if you want some good airflow on a rainy day or a cooler day you can definitely open that up and 
get some good airflow. If we come over here, I want to talk about this real quick. This does have the extended power package, I think, I believe is what they call it, or extended dry cam package, whatever the verbiage is. Um, but you have a 30 amp charge controller here. This has a 190 watt go power uh, roof solar panel up on the roof. And if you're not familiar with go power, they are one of the biggest names in RV solar. They've been doing this for over 25 years. We really like their their products, and they just, number one, because they work. Um, we haven't had too many problems with them. And number two, they have excellent customer and dealer support, which not a lot of these aftermarket and uh, you know OEM suppliers do. Household and USB outlets right there, too, by the way. Um, up here, you are going to have your control panel. So you've got your awning control, water pump, water heater, tank monitoring panel, and some lighting controls. And I like that it's up here out of the way. So if you've got some littles, they're not going to mess with any of this stuff that could potentially cost you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, depending on what appliance it is. Right over here, you are going to have a mount, and this is for a Bluetooth speaker. And I'll show you that speaker here in just a minute. And then back over here, you are going to have your thermostat for your heat, extra USB plugs, and then we've got the double over double bunks, uh, which is, again, really nice. You normally just get single bunks in a single axle camper. And if we take a look at some of the detail things that Salem FSX does, number one, both bunks have a window that is super super important their big brother cruise light and the full-blown salems don't do this and i wish they would but you've got lights for both bunks windows for both bunks and then of course you got that handy usb port that i showed you and then down here you are going to have a little bit of extra storage so if you want to put a doggy bed under there or just use it for kids clothes or something you can do that Last thing before we start opening up the storage, if you do want to add a TV, and I know I'm jumping around all over the place, and I apologize, uh, eh, I apologize about that. Apparently I can't talk today either. But if you want to add a TV, you've got the backer and connections right here to do this. Now this one is not a very entertainment focused trailer. Um, I think most people will never mount a TV in this, but if you want to, you can. So I wanted to take a minute while we're taking a look at the rest of the storage in here. I did want to fold this Murphy bed down so you can see what that looks like. That is, pardon me, that is a camper queen. So it's 74 inches wide or uh, long by 60 inches wide. Now, a lot of people will think in this they could put a true queen. There really isn't a good way to do that. Number one, because the mattress has to fold. Number two, you've got this extra bonus closet that we'll look at here in just a minute now i suppose if you wanted to take that out you could put a true queen in here but personally i wouldn't do that i i would like the extra space there or the storage space there because you can never have too much storage in a small camper like this so uh there is the storage you are going to have this drive bluetooth speaker uh these things sound pretty good now, if I'm being ultra picky, I wish this cabinet here, which you've got good space back there, but I wish that it had a strut support for it. And that's, you know, I'm being ultra picky, but you could always do that aftermarket if you want to. Now, if we look over here, and hopefully the camera plays nice with this window, but you have a pretty decent kitchen. So you've got your microwave and hood range vent up there. This window does open too, by the way. You are going to have a handy shelf here. This will uh, flip up if you want it to. You've got household and USB outlets over, come on camera, work with me, over there, right in this area uh, for the kitchen. You got a two burner cooktop with the glass cover, all pressed, mem all pressed membrane 
countertops. These, so these are a thermofoil. You've got a nice big one basin sink here with the high rise faucet. You are going to have a single drawer because what kitchen is complete without a drawer and then some pretty good storage space down there as well. Now underneath here is some components that they don't really want you to get to. And there is full storage under both sides of the dinette as well. I just don't have that torn apart. Um, above the dinette you've got some really deep storage too. So this could act as like a pantry uh, space or for some kids clothes. So that is a very nice feature. I really like that. And then I mentioned it earlier, but you do have the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge here. So there's the freezer portion. And oops, there is the refrigerator portion. Now this will work off the solar panel and your batteries. It'll also work off your tow vehicle, which is really nice. Um, and you can actually run it going down the road. Now, I went ahead and decided we'd go ahead and cover the bathroom too. I like to keep these videos unscripted. So you've got a nice medicine cabinet here. I wish they would mount that on an angle. That way you can actually stand in the bathroom and use the mirror. You've got a GFI protected outlet, thermofoil press membrane countertops, plenty of leg room around the toilet, uh, nice size sink, little storage space in there. And then back over here, you've got a foot flush lever toilet. It is a plastic bowl um, for weight reasons, mostly. And then you've got a nice shower, not a travel trailer tub. ABS plastic surround paneling up there. Um, and then you've got a second vent fan slash skylight up there as well. So overall, the bathroom is super simple. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I really like it when they don't try to be something that they're not. These are a budget-friendly camper that has a few high-end or higher-end features that are just going to make it a little bit nicer to get out there, enjoy some nature, enjoy some, you know, making some memories with the kiddos. Um, and, hey, that's what camping's all about, right? And, man, I tell you, these... Th Platinum editions, they just have a good look to them. I really like the um, silver with the black and blue accents. It just looks really good. So we've applied a couple optional pieces of equipment here. Um, the first one being the optional power tongue jack. Now that's a hidden option that only dealers know about. So if you're really uh, interested in this, contact your dealer. Make sure that it has this. And if not, you can always swap it in. So you've got your single 20 pound propane tank back there. And then with the package or the solar package, it comes with this uh, group, I believe it's a group 27 series battery. It may be a group 24. Up here, you've got a smooth aluminum nose sweep. That is the only part of these trailers in the platinum edition that does not change to fiberglass. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now the other thing that does not change when you option in the Platinum Edition, it does not add aluminum construction. These are still a wood framed trailer with a fiberglass exoskeleton over top of those wood studs. That's the best way I can describe it. So it's going to help with some hail damage uh, prevention and it's just going to be easier to clean. It's going to cut through the wind a lot better. Coming down the campsite of this trailer, you do have four corner stabilizer jacks. They are manual, and I've been begging FSX to do this for at least two seasons. They finally went to magnet holdbacks on their baggage doors, and thank you, FSX, for finally taking that piece of advice. It was a huge, huge um, request from a lot of people, because nobody likes those little clippy-doodle things. You also are going to have an easy side mount solar prep plug. So if you want to just go bananas with solar panels, you can. If we take a look in here, you'll notice this isn't the greatest pass-through storage in the world, but it is better than none. And there are some trailers a lot bigger than this that don't have a pass-through storage. So I really like that. 
you are gonna have two steps instead of one like a lot of the competition does. Nice big power awning that does have some LED light strips in it. And notice it covers the outdoor camp kitchen. And I'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. Friction hinge entry door. You do have the larger entry assist handle. And I think it's funny. These use the larger entry assist handle, but their bigger, more expensive cousin, the cruise light, doesn't. Um, I, I just find that funny for some reason. You've got a handy power outlet in case you need to plug something in. Again, this is a single axle, and it does have the accessibility for your tanks. So on the FSXs, they are not heated, but it does provide a barrier for road debris and things like that. Now, we kind of ordered the base camp kitchen. So you've got this drawer in the mini fridge. You can option in the propane griddle if you want to, but I think most people are going to have a really good griddle, and you still always are going to have the propane quick connect. Uh, rear stabilizer jack's down there too, by the way. And we're kind of tight back here, but I do want to mention you do have an outside utility shower with hot and cold water, square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky, spare tire, spare tire carrier. You also are going to have a backup camera prep location, which is really nice. Coming down the side over here, you do have your cable and satellite hookup right there. Now, one thing I would change on this, actually two things. One is a window in the entry door. Um, number two, I would like to see them tuck these uh, terminations up just a little bit. Um, they're kind of low hanging. And if you appreciate the me sharing the couple things that I don't personally like with you, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below. You've got a handy black tank flush to clean out your toilet tank. 30 amp detachable power cord. You've got your potable water or city water, uh, no, not city water, potable water or fresh water inlet, city water connection, and then you've got your black, uh, gosh, I'm on a roll today, six gallon water heater that is gas only. And then up here, you are going to have the other side of your pass through. So overall, guys, this is a really simple bunkhouse travel trailer. Again, it's a perfect starter unit. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like pricing and availability, I'll post a link down to our website down below where you can check that anytime. You can also leave any questions or comments down in the comment section down below. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot us an email anytime at contact at custom-rv.com. Again, guys, if you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. We would greatly appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below and leave us any feedback. What would you like to see me change? What would you like to see me add to these videos? Um, I'm always open to your feedback and anything that I do, it's from feedback from viewers because uh, we want to make these videos as entertaining and informative as possible. All right, guys, remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. Leave us any feedback down below. We hope to see you out on our lot very soon, and have a wonderful rest of your day.